I'm here at the booth for Middlebury College talking to Addison Godine, one of the architecture students working on the project. And what's the name of your project, Addison? The name of our house is Self Reliance. Okay, and what? Now that's a, I guess a pretty self explanatory name, but why don't you tell us anyway? Well, it's self explanatory as far as produce, the house produces all of the power it needs. Um, but also, it takes inspiration from the Emerson essay, Self Reliance, which is about um, kind of the individual and society and uh, how sort of people tend to be able to hide in society and not think for themselves, and we need to be able to think for ourselves. It's not a rejection of society outright, but more um, a suggestion that individuals need to be able to think about society. And it, it seems like a very traditional design. We've seen some lines of a barn. Yeah, so. we're uh, definitely going for the Vernac, sort of the traditional gable form of Vermont. What our design is really about is sort of durability and sustainability. Um, not just sustainability in the energy sense, and not just sustainability in the environmental sense, but also the economical sense and the social sense. The gable form in Vermont has endured and endured and endured, and we imagine that it will endure, you know, a hundred years from now. Whereas, sort of, some other forms Come haven't had that uh, longevity. They've been kind of more about fashion, which architecture is not. Um, and how many pieces does this break down into? It looks like it'd be rather hard to to move. This breaks down into eight pieces. Oh, several. Okay. There are two floor modules that breaks right down the middle. Yep. Um, an eight and a half, up, built up to eight and a half feet, and then there are six roof trusses. Okay, and, and what's the overall square footage in the inside? On the inside? Oh, that's a good question. Um, How about the overall? With it's the overall outside? 990. Okay, that includes yeah. the outdoor spaces. That includes out to the okay. exterior of the siding. And it looks like you have PV. This is the back side, or this is the front of the side of the house? This is the south side. This is the front. Okay. And what are you guys planning on doing to the house after the competition is over? Is it it's very New England style? Is it going back to Vermont? It's going back to Vermont. It's coming back to campus. Okay. We're hoping students will be able to live in it and kind of learn from it um, during its you know over the course of its life. And uh, one last question: I know Vermont's a pretty harsh winter environment, so it surely what, is. What we, did you decide to go with for insulation? We went with cellulose. Cellulose, well, coming back to our um, sustainability goal, other insulation types we found don't biodegrade in, you know, 500,000, 2,000, 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. um, cellulose does. It returns to the Earth's natural cycles. So while it's not the best insulator, we found that it was one of the most uh, environmentally friendly insulation materials. So we have a really thick wall. It's an 11-inch thick cavity staggered stud and it achieves an R42. That's oh, really interesting. Well, good luck with the project, Addison. We're going to come down and check it out when you're all done. Thanks so much.